Hi, uh, this is Tom Trusak with Cloudy Nights. We're here up in Michigan's UP with Dave Kriege, and we're about to take a look at his 15-inch UC prototype. Hey, how you doing? We're at the uh, Two-Hearted River Star Party. It's kind of a private get-together of very avid amateur deep sky observers, and I brought up a 15-inch ultra compact, and Tom asked me to show it off on the video here, so here we go. You're gonna see me swiping at a lot of black flies. We got a real black fly thing going here. But anyway, the whole thing fits into uh, a small white polyethylene travel case. And you can store it in there, haul it in there. Uh, there's a couple different ways you can go. The idea was to um, come up with a scope that would fit into a small car. This is not the production rocker, it's just one I put together for the start party because I didn't have the other ones done, but everything else is uh, production. But that's as tall as it is. You can put it in the back of any little car, a small uh, Toyota or any, any, any trunk or the back seat of any car. The uh, overall height when it's nested together is about 12 inches. You can put the cage, the upper tube assembly, next to it, or you can set it underneath like this, whatever works. But uh, that's how I keep it real small. So I'll set it up here. It only takes a few minutes. <clears throat> you set the rocker on the ground. This is what we call a virtual mirror box. It contains the uh, four components essential to a Dobsonian. There's the, uh, the side bearings, the mirror cell, the uh, truss tube assembly, points and uh, I forgot what the other thing is. Anyway, there's four things it does. <clears throat> what you do is you extend the foldable bearings, the toggle clamp, and that's done and then you get the, uh, the truss poles. We send them out in a heavy duty cardboard tube. They're all uh, interconnected, just like the Obsession 18 Ultra Compact. They're all together, so you don't lose anything. And uh, I'll set this up facing the camera. It's a six-pole design to keep everything ultra compact. There's three connections on the bottom and three on the top. This is a 15-inch uh, F4.2. It's a little bit shorter than the classic 15, which is F4.5. But I did this so that there's absolutely no ladder needed for, for any customer. Because uh, you have to haul a ladder along in your car, then it's really not that ultra compact anymore. So there's, there's no ladder needed. After you get the truss poles on the bottom, you connect the upper tube assembly. <clears throat> and... Uh, Trying to get myself so you can see. There we go. The screws are all captive. The knobs, I mean. I know this is all hand tool assembly. Yep, there's no tools required. It's nope. Fingers. You can do it at night with a red flashlight. It's a piece of cake. Yeah. It's nice not to have to worry about looking for an Allen wrench or screwdriver. Collimation or... is all. With your no fingers, tools too. No, yeah. no tools needed. And that's it. It's fully assembled. We uh, put an eyepiece in. We're good to go. It's got a feather touch focuser. That's standard. Uh, the base does swivel. You can rotate it where you want it. The tail rad is standard. The um, light baffles are standard. The uh, I didn't have a shroud yet. I haven't made a shroud for the scope. Uh, this is what's called an external light baffle. This blocks ambient light from hitting the field lens of the eyepiece. I'll just put a nagler in here for now. Now are you using the same type of counterweight system on this yep. day that you're using on the Yeah, 18? it's got, it's got uh, what I call a reverse counterweight system. It goes up here, you fill these with shot or lead, or, uh, lead shot or sand, and you can customize that. There's three of them with each scope. You can use different weights for different eyepieces or accessories. Uh, they keep it in balance. The Argo Navis clips on right here if you want to do digital setting circles or a drive. That's it. We could, if it was dark out, we'd be looking at 
Deep Sky Objects right now.